a few months ago, I showed you how you could create a Google account or Gmail account for your children. But on that video, I show you a way that you can do this. However, this option has not worked for everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you a different way that you can do the same thing. And I'm going to guide you step by step how you can actually create a Google account for your child. And we're talking about children below 13 years old. OK, so let's go ahead to my computer. So the first thing that you're going to do is to go and click on the link down in the description below, because on that link is going to direct you to the proper Google page. So you can start to create a new Google account. OK, here, when you click on that link, then you can start filling out the fields that it is asking you. So the first thing is to, of course, add the name of your child and the last name. The last name, of course, is optional. Once you do this, you click on next. OK, now it's going to ask you for the birthday and gender. And of course, that gender is optional. You can choose not to fill this out. However, the birthday is important because of your child age. OK, this is what will be determining your child age. And you will fill this out. This is just an account that I'm created for this video. So fill this out month, day and year. And then you fill out the gender. You can choose rather not to say or customize. OK, I'm not sure what are the options for customize, but you can choose either. Now click on next and then you will be getting some suggestions of the email addresses that are available. OK, if you choose to create your own Gmail address, then you will be getting some a few options if you're if the one that you are choosing is already taken or it's been used already. Once that you have the right one that is original, that it doesn't have any dupes. And every time that you create one that it's already taken, it will give you an error. It says that the username is taken and try another one until you get it right. Once that you get it right and click on next, you will be asked to create a password. This is required to be a mix of letters, numbers and symbols. So be mindful of what password you can use. You can also get a suggestion from Google to create your password or you can have maybe a password manager that creates a safe password for your child or just uh, something that you and your child can remember. Either way, you need to type your password here and then confirm it in the second field and then click on next. Now, this is the step that it's important. OK, so it says a parent must help test manage in this case, test is the name of my child here. And it says a parent must help test manage his Google account until he turns 13 or uh, any other age, depending on your country. OK, now it says next step for parents. Enter the account that you will use to manage this child account. OK, and then you will be enters the parents email course, you need to have a Google account for this. You can choose your personal Gmail account to do this and then click on next. Now it will tell you a lot of things of safety things that you need to agree in order to proceed to the creation of the account. And it is important that you check this out to see if you really agree to this. OK, so it gives you an idea of what this child Google account is and how it will work. It says that your child's account is like your own and offers access to many Google's products and services, including services that have not been designed or tailored for children. Your child may be able to use their account to do things like ask questions, communicate with others and download and purchase and enjoy apps, games, create view and share photos and videos, presentations, track health, and see some ads as well. OK, so how you can manage this? You should have family link and parental supervisions. And what is this? You may ask. Well, Google's family link app is designed to help you set ground rules and guide your child's experience as they explore online. 
So this is an app that you will be downloading on your phone, either Android, iOS, or Google Chrome phone. You can use this app to manage all the things that you think that your children might do or might not do, and like uh, screen time and all that. Okay, you can set screen time limits, location of your child, uh, probe your child's downloads and purchases, and all of these things. However, there are a few things that you won't be able to control if you don't have a Google device or an Android. So these parental controls have some limitations if you have an iPhone and you might not be able to control a few things if you have an iPhone. If you have an Android or a Google phone, then you will be fine to manage everything. So for example, it says some family link features have limited availability and require specific settings and circumstances in order to work. For example, blocking apps is only available when your child is signing to a compatible Android or Chrome OS device. And seeing your child device location in the family link app is only available when their Android device is powered or connected to the internet. But these two options you can track from your iOS device. So you don't have to worry much about these features because you can still control these from your Apple or iOS device, okay? And then it says, when your child turns 13, they can choose to manage their account on their own without your supervision. So it's a thing that you need to keep in mind. And of course it says respect others and some other child's privacy thing. And then it will ask you to agree. So you have to check mark these two boxes in order to proceed with the creation of your e child's email account. If you agree, then you click on the next button and then it will ask you to enter the password of your email. You're like a parent because you're approving this account, then you will enter your password like a symbol of a signature that you're giving your child permission for this email account. Now this is the parental consent and then you enter your password you click on next how you will help your child to, to manage this account and it gives you some of the things that you can do you can also delete his account you can manage his activity controls and you can update your child's information okay once that you click on next it will start creating this account for you now it says you can you have created the account for your child click on continue and it will ask you if you want to continue with this account in a new profile on Google Chrome. In this case that I was using Google Chrome so you can create a new Chrome profile here. Okay, if you do, it will pop up a totally new window in Chrome and then you can choose the theme and customize your child's profile. And this will keep everything separated from your email account or from your Chrome profile, okay? So this is the way that you will be creating your child's Gmail account or Google account. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if it was, please don't forget to click on the like button and on that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.